Hey and welcome back for another iOS development tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to clean up after yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, in Objective-C and many of the Apple platforms, you are required to clean up your memory, right? You're required to get rid of all the rubbish when you're not using it, when your application exits, when a view is unloaded and that sort of thing. And that's what I'm going to kind of introduce you to that concept in this tutorial. I'm not going to go in depth into men memory management because that's a quite uh, big topic and I don't want to explain it to you at this point. But basically um, Xcode did introduce a new feature which is automatic reference counting. Uh, so now memory management is less involved than it used to be. However, you still have to do some bits uh, to help out. So, the basic way I'm going to describe this is with your objects, Apple wants to clean up these objects. But if you're, say for example, you've got some rubbish, right? You've got this, you've got this big garbage bag. And if you're holding onto that garbage bag while the garbage man is trying to collect your rubbish and take it from you, I know it's not really a real situation, but say for example you're holding on to that rubbish, you're, if, as long as you're ho holding on to that rubbish, the garbage man cannot collect it, right? And the more people you have holding on to the rubbish, the garbage man still won't be able to collect it unless no one's holding on to that rubbish. So this is called reference counting and we have to release our objects to actually let go of our objects and let go of the data that we're actually using them. So Apple or the platform can go and delete it for us and clear up that memory. So we have done this a little bit in our application. As you see, we did the automatic process that we used Xcode to actually create our outlets and that sort of thing. And these are using up memory so we do have to do a little bit of memory management on here and here we've got the view did unload and this basically means that if Apple decides or the platform is running low on me memory it's going to unload that view right and it's going to get rid of all the stuff inside it all the labels and that sort of thing however if you're still holding on to that rubbish right and the garbage man's trying to collect it it won't be able to do that and it's not very good performance maybe you'll get crashes on the Apple iPod or iPhone or that sort of thing you don't really notice it in the simulator because it's not an emulator right it's a simulator so it doesn't emulate any hardware uh, stuff like that sort of thing so it would run perfectly fine on the simulator however you might get some problems on the actual platform so we're doing some me memory management here. We're saying self set invest text field all our outlets here. We're setting it to nil. This means that we're getting rid of the reference because it doesn't equal anything, right? So we're letting go of that object. So when the view does load, it does unload, sorry, it can release the objects and get rid of those data in the memory because we want to clear up that memory, right? We don't want our application crashing because it's using up too much memory or building heavy memory leaks as we like to call them. So we have done this, the correct procedure in the investment view controller, right? We've done that correct procedure, but however, we have not done the correct procedure in our loan view controller. You can see that we've got view did unload, but we don't have any of those release any retain subviews in your main view. So we're not doing that, so we need to do that. So we're going to do the same thing, self, and we're going to set amount, we're going to equal set it to nil, right? Which means nothing, and bracket, semicolon. And we're going to do that for all our outlets. So self, period label, set it to nil. and self interest label set to nil oh I'm not doing it right here 
make sure you have the set keyword in front of each of these elements here. I'll just I'll just delete and start again. So self set uh, period label equal to nil, and now we won't get an error. Self set interest label. Neil and self set total payment label to Neil, and that's all we have to do just to clean up uh, if that event is happen. It doesn't always happen. It depends on the memory of the device at the time. But if the platform decides to unload the view, we're going to release all the objects or the outlets in there. So we can clear up that memory and that's basically what memory management is you want to uh, prevent leaks you want to have no leaks in your application so you get the best performance and you don't have crashes on your application all the time so that's basically what we're doing here uh, we're sending it to nil so we're releasing that object because it doesn't equal anything so therefore we don't have that hold on that object and the garbage man can get rid of the rubbish So. That's about it for today's tutorial, a really brief introduction into memory management. But hopefully you guys can understand what I just talked about, and I'll see you guys later.